Alright, hey guys, um, today I'm going to show you uh, the feature in iOS, iOS 5, uh, the iCloud. Um, this proves to you that I am running iOS 5, so some cheap, dodgy jailbreak thing I've done. I pretty can't see, wait, right, so just take us to the bottom there. Should say iOS 5, no, I'll put a print screen in somewhere over here. Cool. Um, Alright, so. Also, another proof that iOS 5 is the fact that I do have iCloud integrated here. So, on iCloud, it's very similar to uh, your mobile me, with your mail, contact, calendar, reminders, bookmarks, notes, photo, stream, which is new, and the old Find My iPhone. Um, I'm going to show you your account, you log in there. Um, so, what you do, you tick what you want. Like if you want to do the photo stream, which is quite cool, make sure it turns on. So, this it says here at the bottom. Um, Photo stream automatically uploads new photos to iCloud and downloads them to to all i devices or all devices. So that includes iPad, Apple Touches, all running iOS 5. Uh, one of the cool features in this is the fact that you can do storage and backup. Which basically, uh, Apple will allow you five gigabytes to backup, uh, so you can backup your whole iPhone like you do on your PC. Now at the WWDC, they mentioned that it's a post PC world and people don't have computers these days, which I'm pretty sure everyone does, to be honest. Um, but they're offering this as <coughs> an ability, it's completely free. Uh, you have 5 gigs, which isn't much, but it's quite a lot considering how there's quite a few iPhone users out there, so I'll add up a lot for Apple. But you can buy more storage. Um, it doesn't actually work, I mean, you can't click on it. Uh, and Apple should be releasing that when the beta is finally released. Yes, yeah, it says here, personally, addition to storage is not possible at this time. So cancel. There you go, Josh's iPhone, buy more storage, shows how much you've backed up. So far I've done 4.5 gigs. Sorry about the camera quality, it's getting you all quite soon. Um, so that's quite very cool. Now I mentioned about photo stream, where if you take a photo, it'll stream it straight to your PC. Uh, what I'll do is I'll take a picture of, uh, let's say, I'll turn the grid lines off there, it's not a feature I have so far. Alright, so if I just take a picture here of the camera which I'm using. Yep, just good. I'll show you that picture. Just to prove to you that I'm not making this up and that this is how it works. So that's the picture I just took. There's the camera I'm using the film. Um, so right now this will automatically be sent to the computer I'm using the film this with. Um, so I will switch over to the computer and I promise you I'm not going to sync it, copy it across or anything like that. This is purely basis of the Wi-Fi which you can see up there. So yeah, okay, so I'll switch it back to the computer. Alright, so once you've installed iCloud, which I have, which is only available to developers, by the end of the video I'll let you know how you can install it on any computer without being a developer, uh, as well as ISO 5 and all that. So I pause the screen here so you can't see my details when I log in. Give me a second, that's a typer. Uh, yeah, log in. Okay. Password. Nah, bear with me, this might be wrong because I've got so many accounts, different things. Um, it says it's logging in. Uh, if I, yeah, I'll let you see this page. There, yeah, you see that. Give it a second. No, right, here we go. Don't forget, it's still in beta, so it's obviously going to have quite a lot of issues on it. So here we go, once you're in, um, this is what page that you'll see. And it's obviously worked out, no, I'm Joshua Parker, uh, that's how much I've used, same as it said before. Uh, as you can see here, you can, and it says beta obviously, you can choose which one you want to sync with your computer. If you click photo stream, go options, you can select your download folder, so where it download pictures in the upload folder, where it upload pictures to your devices. So press OK, hit apply, um, we should start doing stuff. So then that should be done. Now all we have to do, Go to your documents, pictures, wherever you determined to put them. So for example, here I put it in my pictures, photo stream, my photos. So, okay. So let's have a look at that. So, pictures. Give it a second. Look quite a few photos here. Uh, photo stream, uploads. Okay, nothing there at the minute. Um, <laughs> so, it's just still in uh, beta, so it's going to take a while. For it to start working, make sure that was the right location in a second. Um, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that was the uh, right place. Uh, bear with me one sec, I'm gonna fast 
Uh, make the video fast forward so I split this up. Sorry about this. Okay, I'm back. Okay, uh, it took a while to upload it and download it. As you can see here, we now have the photo stream photo file and the folders uploads where you simply put a picture in, it will get uploaded straight to your phone, and my photo stream where it downloads all the photos you've taken recently into that folder. Now, as you can see, uh, the icon keeps changing. Uh, it's obviously because more photos are going in. So if I just open that up, uh, yeah, still, still more photos going in. So it might take a few minutes. So I'll fast forward to now. Okay, I'm back. So uh, the photo has been put on here. As you can see, this is the photo I took just a minute ago. There it is. Uh, so that's the exact picture we took. If you don't remember, just rewind, you can see it. Uh, so I, so iCloud Beta does work pretty well. So that's just the insight of how it works and what you guys could expect. Um, so most of you want to actually know how to get the iOS Beta as well as iCloud. Uh, very simple, just go into your browser and then go onto this website called imzdl.com, link in the description below. Download it from there. Uh, this can download iCloud and iOS by Beta. Also, click in the middle of the page here, and it will take you to a video which I made earlier on how to get these uh, really easily, simple, straightforward, and quite quick. Uh, don't forget, guys, check out the next iOS.co.nr. Uh, we've got revamped the whole website, updated uh, hourly, loads of new information. Pretty awesome. We'll be introducing the next iOS or TNI, as we call it now, TV. So look forward to that. Um, so if you have any queries or to know more about iCloud, leave a message below or post a message, I'll get straight back to you. So uh, thanks for watching, guys.